Brigade Yo, Welcome along to another little video here on dog training with um, Jess, my little German pointer pup. She's just six months old and um, this will be the second attempt at introducing her to shot. If you look at the, the last video, I brought her out on a windy day with my other dog and um, fired a few shots while she was chasing the other dog and interested in that kind of way and um, everything went well. But today I'm going to take her out and I'm going to fire a few shots while she's on her own. Now as in the other video I pointed out that I was a little concerned about her in so far as she has a tendency to startle at sudden sounds so I have to be ultra careful whilst um, introducing the shot. So I'll explain further when we get into the field. Now I'm here with Jess as um, and as I pointed out I'm about to do the second video on the introduction to shot. Now I cannot overemphasize how critical it is to get to do this correctly. I have seen many a dog ruined, prospective gun dogs ruined by not doing this correctly. It's imperative that you fire your shots at the right time. If you fire your shots at the wrong time and your dog has any um, nervous inclination or as in the case of Jess here who has a tendency to startle at loud sounds, if you fire the shot at the wrong time you could make your dog gun shy and a gun shy dog cannot be cured. So again I'm going to emphasize that it's imperative and critical that you get this right. If you're not sure contact maybe somebody who's done it before or a professional trainer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Jess into the field bearing in mind that she is a little well I won't say she's not nervous generally speaking but she has a tendency to startle at sudden sounds. So bearing that in mind I'm going to be very very careful about when I fire my shots. Now as you've seen in the previous video I fired some shots while she's with the other dog. So the other dog was distracting her enough so that the sounds didn't startle her. When she's on her own it could be a different prospect. So again like I said I'm going to be very careful and you take note of when I fire the shots. In in the event um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to fire the first shots when she's quite far out from me hoping that she will pull out for me and that she will range out that, that far and I will fire the shots from my six millimeter um, blank firer one second this here this is my six millimeter blank fire I'm going to fire this when she's as far away from me as I think she's going to go and I'll fire the shot behind my back so that the shot is not actually if you like aimed at her um, the shot will be behind my back for the first couple of goes now as well as that what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a couple of retrieves for her she's a very keen retriever so when she goes for the retrieves would be a good time to fire a shot as well when she's actually when I throw the dummy when she's actually about to pick the dummy up because at that point then her concentration is actually on the dummy and the sound won't impose on her as much so now I'm just about to um, go in the field here and um, we'll see how it goes now you can see Jess is full of beans here and um, come on come on good girl come on I'm hoping that she's going to pull out, like I said, quite a bit from me. Now bear with me again with the wind noise. The wind is actually going to help me here with this job. So. Now she's going to the toilet. Now the wind is at my back at the moment, so what I want to do is I'm going to turn and walk into the wind. Yeah, good girl. Now there is wind noise, I've no doubt. Come on. Now I'm going to pull out in front of me. We're walking into the wind. I have the gun behind my back ready to fire whenever she pulls out far enough. Still not far enough. Come on Jess, must be feeding her too much, come on, 
Come on again. Come on. She goes now. Still not far enough. She's only 15 yards maybe. I need her to go out 50, 60 yards at least. Now there she goes. Not still not far enough. Come on. There she goes now. No butter. Fired that shot now and it was she didn't even react to it at all. That's a very good sign. Very happy with that. Right, seeing as she's not ranging out for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, throw a retrieve for her. And that will distract her enough from the sound of the shot. I think that's why she was hanging around me. She could probably smell it. It's in my pocket. So anyway, here's my dummy. I'm going to throw that for her. And when she goes out for it, and just as she's about to reach it, that's when I'll fire my shot because that's when she'll be more, most absorbed. So here we go. Just now. Excellent. She, she didn't pay any heed whatsoever to the shot. Good girl. So I'm very happy with that. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Jess. Good girl, Jess. Come on, Jess. Good girl. Now, she's running away with the retrieve, but I don't mind that. Typical puppy behaviour. Good girl, Jess. Now she's coming. Good girl. Sit. As a by the way, uh, for retrieving dogs, never be in a rush to take any retrieve from them. Let them hold on to it and pet them for a little while. That gets them, gives them the idea that you're not going to snap it from them. Dead. Good girl. So now I'm going to do one more. Now this time I'm going to do it with the wind. The wind is behind me. So the wind will actually be blowing the sound to her so it will be considerably louder than the last time. Because I'm not any bit worried about her now at this stage. I think she's 100% where the shot is concerned. Everything went according to plan. So again, throw the dummy. Good girl. Away she goes, fire shot, 100%. No bother whatsoever. Good girl, Jess. Hey, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. He's a great girl. Good girl. I'm very happy with Jess now. There we are. That's um, a job accomplished. Very happy with her. Um, like I said, it's carefully contrived and carefully done so that we're not going to have a negative impact on the dog. Maybe create an issue that would take a long time to remedy or possibly not be remedied, remedied ever and turn her into a pet. So, that's it. Talk to you shortly. Now, just returned from the field and... Um, Everything went according to plan. Um, Jess now has been successfully introduced to gunfire. And um, I'm very happy with our progress. Now, there's a lot of training yet to do, but that's a very important part. And I'd like to reiterate that if you intend to introduce a pup to gunfire, that you, if you're not sure to either do it with somebody who's done it before and knows what they're doing, or consult a professional trainer. So, um, if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe subscribe button. I'll be doing videos along similar lines in the future. So, good evening, shalom